the only receiver now in UK history to have two touchdowns over 83 yards. Does that kind of strike you? Yeah, out? that when they told me, I was I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, is this really happening? But at the same time, it's another goal that I had made and set. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Is your confidence, it was always big to begin with, obviously, the first time I talked to you, but has it now hit a new level because you're doing it now in this league? Yeah, it's, it's like I'm, I'm back right now because the first couple of games I was injured, so I couldn't use. I couldn't do what I was able to do, but now that I'm seeing myself getting back to uh, normal and things getting back back on on track, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be making more plays as time go on. How frustrating was it to be injured early this season and be missing all that time in practice? And not yeah, it was it was it was very frustrating because it was like I I couldn't help out the team how I wanted to, but at the same time I just had to cheer my team on and tell the young guys, you know, step it up. I'm not in, so you guys got to step up and make those plays that you've been recruited for to come here and make. It's week by week. Do you feel like this team's confidence keeps building? Yeah, I, I feel like our chemistry is just, it keeps building up. It's, it's really amazing what goes on at the locker room and in practice. So, like, our, our guys, we're, we're really bonding every week. So it's, it's to me, it's an amazing feeling because I, I never had a family and a team like this that just, like, we can sit down and just talk to each other without the coaches being in the room and have that group meeting and uh, have each other, like, getting that understanding. So it's it's pretty amazing when we all come together and work. One more win, Mr. Bowell Looper. What does that mean to you guys? Oh, it's it's really amazing. Uh, it's, that's an amazing feeling. You, we couldn't get the bowl last year, so we had made it a, uh, a goal to get get a bowl this year, and that's what we promised the fans, and we're, we're making that promise a, a reality. Five and one. Would you believe that back in August? Uh, after the work we put in, um, yeah, I would. Cause we, we worked hard this off season. Um, and really, for two years we've been working hard, so it, it, I felt like it was time to come. Yeah, you feel it coming? Yeah. Really? yeah. How about the start in this game? Coach, not too happy with it. Were you guys maybe getting a little ahead of yourself? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we had a little sideline adjustment. You know, just some of the players are st starting D and a few of the people to rotate. And you know, said so it's time to get this together. We got to bow up. So that's what we did. What did you do this week to play better? Um, watch up more film. Uh, I stayed after and watched a lot of film this week, um, and really just you know, paid attention to film and try to pick up on little keys and things like that. Um, I was dropping to my coverage and the ball fell in my hand just about so um, and then it was just running you know off to the race and find a hole and get north and south. Did it look like you were going to make it to the end zone that easy? Or? Uh, when I first looked up I didn't think so. Uh, <laughs> then Matt turned around and started blocking so that took up you know one or two people so <laughs> it, it all worked out. What did it feel like to get an interception like that? Uh, it felt good. Um, last year, uh, you know, I got caught by the quarterback in Florida, so I've been telling myself the next one was going to count. You know, we're going to get six on the board the next one. So, you guys thinking bowl, one more win, and you're eligible. Uh, Does that, that go through your mind? Seriously. On the players, yes, it does. But um, we try to stay, you know, not too far ahead of ourselves and take it game by game.